Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we'll be using this Peterbilt 389 low roof sleeper to haul a load of tires from Yuma, California to Phoenix, Arizona. It weighs in at just around 42,000 pounds and we are being paid just around $8,000 in game to haul this. And we will be going a little bit into the overnight which should be okay. And as you guys can see we'll just kind of change a few things over here to our digital speedometer and I'm thinking that we could go left out of here so we'll kind of get going here and we'll release a parking brake have forgotten to do that a few times but I'm excited to be back here in the game and we are hauling tires here for the first time it is in a nice enclosed unit which is nice and it is a bit tricky you guys can see we do have another trailer there it might have been easier to go out the other way now that I'm thinking about it but that is okay sometimes doing it the hard way isn't that bad at all a bit tricky but you do gain more and more skills and and uh, we do get better and better at this. I am using the Logitech G29 Racing Steering Wheel here today. It makes it a bit easier, you guys, since we just rubbed there. Not the best, but it is just very tricky overall. We'll uh, kind of turn this wheel as much as we can. But using a racing steering wheel is pretty cool. You guys, since we will have to watch that trailer, it did do a pretty good job. And now that I'm looking at it, there was a building on the other side. So both ways would have been a bit tricky, but it's around 7 o'clock here in game time. And that is a little bit late. Should probably end today's delivery at just around probably 9.30, uh, 10. But you guys can see great job. A lot of steering, but I really do enjoy using the steering wheel. And are we going to clear it? It is always a bit tricky. I usually am on the brakes when it's uh, tight areas like that. And we'll make this a left. And you guys can see there was a car going, but we got enough space to go. And it's not too uh, fast of, of a speed. And... Uh, whoa, that van's coming a little bit into our lane, but we'll make this uh, right-hand turn. And I really do like these roads. Uh, they are pretty nice. And the load that we are hauling, this trailer is just so easy to drive. There isn't too much. No oversized, not too long. And you guys can see merges here into... Uh, a single lane. It looks like we are behind a coach bus and a truck hauling lumber up ahead. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going good so far and I hope yours is too. While we are passing by this gas station, we'll stop and we'll get some diesel really quick. Should be very quick and easy. We'll just kind of pull up. Diesel is two sixty nine. so wow. It's gotten a bit cheaper over here in the... Uh, this area of California and I do like going state to state that is always pretty cool there looks to be a few skid steers up ahead and since we are using company truck they do pay for $152 and 56 gallons so we are ready to go here for today's haul now this will be a bit tricky very hard and you guys can see we just got the notification that they will be paying for it and just so hard to really see but we should be good to go you guys can see doing a really good job today so far. It has been a bit tricky, but we just really do a good job. Take off that. That car is really just going to squeeze by. We got a few skid steers on both sides. Looks like a little bit of road work, and we'll be getting on the freeway up here. I do like the freeways just very quick, fast, and uh, it's always just like one straight road all the way. It's a lot easier than going back roads, but I think that would be pretty cool to take back roads to some of these different areas in the game and I currently am looking into the mods to make us go into Canada and also the east coast side of the United States and take off this this car is going to let us merge there which is pretty cool what I have noticed is when the camera view is up higher you can't really see the turn signals I really do like the other trucks for that but you guys can see great overall haul today it looks like we are on a pretty big bridge we'll do some more cinematic shots really do like these a lot you guys can see just hauling tires no problem whatsoever We'll now just continue down the road as we are continuing, but the sun will definitely be setting. After looking at the timing, looks like we'll be taking it looks like we'll be dropping off today's load at just around 10 p.m. 10:30 at night, which isn't that bad. And then we'll be calling it at night. Now I will turn on my headlights. There is a few laws, but it really does depend on the state. Uh, sometimes they want in a half hour before sunset. We'll just kind of get them turned on. We are, go are going 66 here in a 75, and take off that. There looks to be a box truck passing by. I really do like the traffic here in the game. I mean, they are just overall pretty cool. I do like doing these day to night hauls. That is pretty cool. I do get a lot of requests to do more night videos, so this is always nice to do. 
If you do have any cool games that you guys would like me to feature here on the channel, let me know down below in the comments. I really do enjoy uploading to YouTube every single day, and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. I do post two videos a day, and I now live stream three days a week, which is pretty cool. Two of those streams are an hour plus long, so I mean, just very busy for us on the farms and all of the different things we are doing. But wow, uh, one mile per hour over the speed limit. This thing really gets up and goes, and it looks like we are now here in a bit of traffic which is okay. Usually, you aren't really supposed to pass, but I really would like to. It looks like this actually almost goes here into almost three lanes. We do not want to be tailgating. That won't be safe, just in case we got a break, but nope. Uh, two lanes and a speed limit of 75. Wow. We dropped 15 miles per hour just in traffic. You guys can see the landscape is pretty cool, especially towards the evening hours here in the game. I just really do like how the sun sets here. You guys can see there's a few... Uh, there's actually a car trying to pass us. Wow, take a look at that. It looks like a pretty big SUV. If you do have any cool ideas here for American Truck Simulator, let me know down below in the comments. We currently are doing quick drops, which is pretty cool. We get to use different trucks, and we hold different types of loads, which is always pretty cool. Now, you guys didn't see the speed limit is 75, but we dropped... 20 miles per hour just being here in traffic and throughout the next few hours the traffic will definitely uh, be a bit lighter as we continue it's going to get later less people will be out on the road the destination circle is coming up here to our right which means that we are just about over here to our destination very busy night for us guys and see quite a bit of vehicles taking us quite a bit of breaks to kind of get stopped here and now we got to get rolling on a hill usually in a standard it's very tricky to get rolling on hills other than that I mean they are also very fun to drive we are just now climbing 42,000 pounds of tires it does make it a bit tricky and I mean this is actually right off the highway here a little bit to the outskirts of Kingman other than that though very nice and easy you always do want to come to a complete stop feel a setback of the vehicle before you do make the turn otherwise it could be classified as not stopping and then you could possibly pay the uh, ticket uh, if you do get a notice by those people but as guys since we are just now getting up to 35 bucks we are actually going to be taking this left hand turn hopefully the lights nope it's going to change and we just made that turn very successful, and it looks like we will already be taking a ride. Overall, I really do like doing these very simple loads, just hauling it with the usual size or even the shorter trailers. I mean, it's a lot easier than uh, doing the oversized and the heavy hauls, but I really do like doing those at the same time. Those are a bit interesting. It makes you be a bit more concentrated, and I just really do like doing those. Looks like we are having a few lag spikes, but that is pretty much it, guys. We have a ride back over here. We'll get it back in and we'll call it a day a little bit over the speed limit just five over and we'll be taking this turn we'll have to come to a complete stop you guys can see right over here where this plate is we gotta stop see where they do want it now this is just tires so it's nothing really too big but wow this will be a bit tricky for us and yeah not exactly sure this will be a bit tricky for us i am here in third person just to make it a bit easier for us, we actually do have to turn all the way around. Not sure if that will be possible. Looks like this will be a bit tricky. I will call it a day right over here, and I will back it in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hauling tires here with a Peterbilt 379 low roof sleeper. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.